With nearly 2 million alligators in the state of Florida, it is inevitable that attacks will happen. But are they avoidable and why do they occur? In order to understand this topic and why this is a problem, then you're going to need to learn a little bit about alligators. In addition to their behavior on top of my own. If there's one thing I'm known for, it's getting close to a variety of not-so-safe wildlife. Alligators included. So, while I might not be a biologist, I do know a lot about these animals. So, I can tell you with a matter of fact, while they're not nearly as dangerous as people think they are, they do kill people on the occasion. And I'm going to explain why this happens and why these numbers are increasing. But first, we need to get one very clear fact out of the way. Alligators do not chase people. They are opportunistic ambush hunters, not pursuit predators. The only two scenarios in which an alligator is going to chase a human is if one, that you're getting way too close to their babies, which I'm doing right now, and even then it's a pretty rare case for an alligator to chase a person in this circumstance, or two, you've been feeding the alligator, and the alligator decides to go after you hoping for more food. Both of these scenarios are pretty rare, and because of that, I'm not really going to cover them today, as if you're ever in this circumstance, it's usually your fault anyways. The next few scenarios, though, that could cause an alligator attack that I'm about to go over are usually considered to be much more serious and more common. The first and probably most common of which type of attacks that occur with alligators are actually ones that involve people walking their dogs. You've probably seen it happen a variety of times on the news now. Alligator eats woman walking dog, stuff like that. Unfortunately, this is very common, especially in elderly communities where people often like to walk their dogs very close to the water. The fact that most of these people can't fight off a 500 pound bulletproof reptile doesn't help either. What happens in most of these scenarios is actually that the alligator grabs a dog only to let go and then attack the person who's trying to get their dog to safety. Unfortunately though, oftentimes this leads to the alligator just grabbing on the person and once you're in an alligator's jaws, you're kind of screwed. This unfortunately happens quite often and usually leads to a couple fatalities every year. While much rare it should also be noted that this does also happen to children. This is very sad, but because children are much smaller, sometimes alligators mistake them for their more common prey, and this often leads to kids getting eaten. This is not a normal occurrence at all though, at least not with the American alligator. What does occur much more often with this species is actually attacks that happen underwater. For as much as I'd love to have the experience of swimming with a wild alligator, this is incredibly dangerous, and one of the main reasons why alligator attacks occur. As stated before, these guys are opportunistic and where are you most vulnerable? In the water. Because of this, it's only their natural instinct to take advantage of your vulnerability and attack you underwater, especially if they're only seeing you from above, where they simply see your head and assume you're a much smaller creature. Oftentimes in this scenario, they will just let go, but by the time they grab on you, it's often too late, as alligators have a bite force of around 3,000 PSI, which is more than enough to crush your skull. While this incredibly strong bite force did evolve to crush turtle shells, it's unfortunately very good at killing people too. So, with how dangerous dangerous these reptiles truly are, how many people actually die from alligator attacks every year. Even with the number of alligator attacks increasing by 66% over the past decade, the total amount of alligator fatalities has only been on average about 3-4 to four per year. For comparison, other more aggressive crocodilian species, like the Nile crocodile, kill about a thousand people each and every year. Regardless though, with how abundant these American alligators are, especially in my home state of Florida, it's always good to take precautions. For starters, you should always keep your young kids and of course your pets far away from the water's edge, especially in the southeastern United States where alligators are very common. Similar to bears, almost 50% of alligator attacks involve a dog or a small child, so please keep those things away from the water. Also don't go in the water yourself. Even someone like me who spent a lot of time around alligators doesn't consider this safe. If you want to swim with some cool apex predators, you're still much better off swimming with any sort of shark species than any crocodilian. Alligators included. If you're a responsible adult though in the southeastern United States, being worried about alligators isn't too big of a deal. For the most part, alligators are either afraid or indifferent to humans and mostly prefer to be left alone. And on top of that, most alligators are too small to really consume a full-grown human anyway. You have to remember, the average alligator is only about a foot tall. You for comparison are probably about 5 to 6 feet tall. That is pretty intimidating to an alligator. So if you're a full-grown healthy human being on land just minding your own business and you see an 
alligator, odds are you're perfectly safe. As long as you don't try to feed, harass, or swim with the alligator, you're gonna be just fine. Even someone like me who's dealt with hundreds of wild alligators has only ever had a few close calls, all of which could be contributed to my own stupidity and not the fault of the alligator as it's just acting as expected for a wild animal. It's important to know that wild alligators are not your friends, but they're still your neighbors, and you should always treat them with the respect that they deserve. But sadly, the number of alligator attacks are still increasing, and this is not their fault but ours. With human development, especially in my home state of Florida, being at an all-time high, alligator-human conflicts are becoming more and more common. This, of course, is inevitably going to lead to more attacks, and possibly more human and alligator deaths as well. A lot of people don't realize this, but in the state of Florida, when you call for a nuisance alligator, oftentimes that alligator is not relocated and oftentimes is euthanized. The state of Florida alone euthanizes about 10,000 alligators each and every year. For comparison, only around one to two people die every year in the state of Florida because of alligators, with only a handful extra being hospitalized, oftentimes due to their stupidity. So even with attacks increasing, next time you see an alligator, don't panic. Just accept the fact that it's one of the many natural animals that live in your state, and that it should be treated with just as much respect and care as any other animal. So next time you see an alligator, don't be afraid, be excited excited that you have a living dinosaur existing in your backyard. And as long as you learn common sense, you should be just fine. So if you want to see and learn more about alligators, please feel free to follow my channel.